Guess who forgot to unmute? <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Thank you, Tiff, for telling me that I'm muted. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Like, I'm, I hope I, 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 I did the correct thing to unmute. Okay. We're going with Ness. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Gorly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess a little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! Oh, I only changed the title. Whoops. Okay. See that heart? That, that is your soul! The very culmination of your being! Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain lots of LV! What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you! Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets! Are you ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! No. Hey, hey buddy! <laughs> you, you missed them! Uh, let, let's try again, okay? Is, is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the butt! Friendliness pellets! You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die. <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torio, caretaker of the ruins. I'm gonna be voicing every character, or at least trying to. Just for the fun of it. I feel like that's a fun way to do Undertale. You know? Because, I mean, if you're watching Undertale in, like, 2022, uh, you know? Yeah. Like, you probably already know the plot. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. I like how catacombs are like meant to be like a mass burial site for like humans or just like people. And if this is catacombs, that means there's just supposed to be like dead bodies everywhere or at least skeletons. This way. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP full your sword. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you on the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Okay. Oh, alright, I know this one. 
You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Okay, so... Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. This switch doesn't even work. Oh, okay. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. I like that. For details sake, Toby put a hint for that first puzzle that Toriel solves for you. That is true. I do like that fact. That it's That's why I like interacting with stuff, you know? It's like, it tells you like a hint to solve it. Like, even, yeah. I also like the three frogs. Human, as a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, do not worry. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. Uh, very good. You are very good. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Frog, it attacks you. Frog, it doesn't understand what you said. Full splattered anyways. <laughs> I love the little side eye that Toriel does in this first, like, random encounter. <laughs> it's like, hey, 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 hey. Fuck off. Get out of here, Froggit! The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Oh. Oh, yeah, and there's even like a hint here. Right? Because if you, uh. If you go here, you see it's down. It's this. It's this! They give you, like, just for a little detail, they give you, uh, the hint. Even though you don't need it, because... Take my hand for a moment. And she just... She just walks for you. She walks you. Um, even though you could have figured that out on your own. Because Toriel is the tutorial. I like that people can't see me drink my water now, but I am hydrating. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Uh, I don't know. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna leave. Okay. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I like that this implies that, like, Toriel just had an extra cell phone on her, like, this whole time, even though she wasn't planning on meeting you. She probably just ke always carries an extra cell phone in case an a human happens to fall down. Uh, and keeps it charged every single day. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. It's 
looking for you, so... Oh. You need spare wisdom. You don't get anything for it, but, like, you can. But... Ring. Hello? This is Toria. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Cinnamon or scotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. I want to go north just to see what's over there. Took more candy, how disgusting. I will take two pieces of candy, because I know what I can get away with. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. I almost had it second try. And then I almost had it third try. Let's see if I can get it fourth try. Whoa there, part. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm. So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm. You want me to move some more? Alrighty. Here, how's this? Hmm. That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> I love this silly little joke where he moves over because you don't. He's a sentient rock. You wanted me to stay there? You're you're giving me a real workout. It's because three out of four rocks recommend gray rocks recommend you push them. That's the fourth rock that doesn't want you to push him. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese fills you with determination. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Are they 
you're gone yet. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No. It snaps the book. The the bo the, the 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 best little ghosty. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. <laughs> Let me try. Ah, yes, I call it Dapper. Do you like it? Yeah. It's great. Naps the book. Oh, gee. I usually come to the rooms because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Did you miss it? Spider pig sailed down to the right. Come eat food made by spi made by spiders for spiders of spiders. I heard using borders can add some color to the world. It seems you can choose them in the settings menu before you load your game. However, there isn't a frog green border, so it's just pointless for a bit. I've heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? It's helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Dun dun dun! Hello! I just realized that it has been quite a, been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You, you want to leave room in your pockets for that. There's a small crack in the wall here. There's a frog inside. Wait, there are two! You had a wonderful, exclusive experience that only someone who saw two frogs could feel. Ah, the fine details of there being four frogs in this room. There's just one switch. Okay. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Four naps to look the chronically depressed ghost. Ah, I took my first bit of damage. It was to a god dang looks! Oh yeah, that's right. Plants can't talk, dummy. Eat your greens! Thank you. 
I am running low on health, so I need more healing items. Oh wait, I have candy. Spiders, not just the juice. Time to deal with the other Vegetoid. not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask her what they were for. We were all too intimidated to talk to her for a bit. Bark is worse than its bite, oh my god. The flavor text for the stick, I love it. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er... Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. C 
seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It took a, it's a, it is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have it, have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on sm snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. It's you! Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. Kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There's some white fur stuck in the drink. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show someone show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails talk really slowly? Just kidding, snails don't talk. Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. Come back. Come back. You're not getting away. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am not going to de I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. You leave the ruins. They, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <sighs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive.
doing? Attack or run away? not want to do that this early in the game, but uh, I also don't want to have to retry this fight. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... You can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Ha <laughs> ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My, ex my expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, Please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goat mom. Goodbye, my child. Oh, it's this fucker. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your... So you were able to play by your own rules. You spare the life of a single person. He he he. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. What will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. I, my plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> and there he goes. Yes. Undertale. Delta Rune by Toby Fox.
I don't I didn't know what would happen if you go backwards, but I guess probably uh, nothing. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans, Sans the Skellington. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother! It's been eight days and you, st and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You wanna look? No, I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly need deserve. Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bone! <laughs> All you do is sit and boondoggle. <laughs> you get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ugh! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Ha! <laughs> okay, you can come out now. If you want to get going, he might come back, and if he does, he'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I like these two rocks. They're just conveniently placed. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah. All that's attached to, to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. I decided not to call. But I want to call. Let me call. Sent the line back out. Aww. But I want to call the weird looking monster. 
Gosh, this is so anti pog champ. I just really want to see the weird looking monster. Okay, uh, what does this sign say? This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. <clears throat> so, as I was saying about Undyne... I'm gonna take a sip of water. Sans! Oh my god! Is that a human? I can't do Pyrus very good. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Ow! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne Will, I'm gonna, I'll be so... Popular! Popular, popular. Ahem! Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then, then! I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare! <laughs> well, that one, that one well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Okay, I think I remember what you're supposed to do for snow. Oh, fuck. I think you're supposed to check and then laugh. Um... So if I can just, like, remember to hit laugh. Twelve gold? Oh my goodness! There's some narration on this cardboard. Box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman! No, not a very famous royal guardsman. Oh, this is... this is... there's some narration on this cardboard. You observe the... uh, yeah. Yeah, it's... it's... it's papyruses! Absolutely no moving! Did somebody move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Don't move an inch. You pet doggo. What? I've been pet? Pet, 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 pot, 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 pet, pot. I love the dogs in this game. S -s something pet me. Something is moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anyone there? No? Someone's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. 
I love that all that was the incorrect color. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, Snowden, town. And ice. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'd be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's what- I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Aho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. And then you just, yeah. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you know that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything ever else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the per perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15G. Well then, tell me, tell your friends. There's ice cream out in the middle of the woods. Here you go, have a super duper day. Uh, okay. How much do nice creams heal for? Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Alright, I'm just gonna spend all my money on nice creams. You know, I'm just gonna, like, reset. Blue. H hopping and twirling, your original style pulled you through. You are awarded 2G flag has nothing else to offer. There's a camera hidden inside this lump of snow. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. I love me a good snow decahedron. I've been thinking about selling truths too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I'm at 50G. Really? How about 5,000G? 50,000 G, that's my final offer. What, you don't have the money? Hey, that's okay, I don't have any snow. God, Sans is such a character. Smell danger rating, snow smell, snowman, white rating, can become yellow rating, unsuspicious smell, puppy, blue rating, smell of rotting or rolling around, weird smell, humans, green rating, <laughs> destroy at all costs. I like how green rating is red. Human, 
I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Sans, they didn't even look at it! Whoops, I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What, crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What, really? Dude, that's easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable! Q-Man, solve this dispute! Which is harder. Ha! Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent if they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Yeah! Ha 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 ha! Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stuck for trying to solve the horoscope. I like how, uh, in this Monster Kids word search, uh, they use yellow that's really hard to read, uh, one of the words is just the entire top row, which is just nonsense, and there is the word cigar. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize you aren't progressing! Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus! Nyahaha! <laughs> papyrus. It's a pile of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Warning, dog marriage. I love a good dog marriage. You don't even pet it, it just gets more excited. Clean <laughs> takeoff. Call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. Far away barking. You can reach the lesser dog again. It's possible you may have a problem. Mr. Dog is un unpettable but appreciates the attempt. It continues. Hello there. Hello there, General Kenobi. 
it continues. Unless your dog is questioning your choices. <laughs> Sixty gold. Oh boy! What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird, weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Doggy assault you. Smell like a weird puppy. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Turn every X into a home, and then press the switch. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell the pirates about a spaghetti? Really? Wowie! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. 
Oh wow, wait, why am I like... Hello? I am stuck blankly facing the screen. Okay, so now I'm not just facing the screen. Okay. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chief Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Yeah. <laughs> My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere, to, nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human! I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Wow, you solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible, I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just goes. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great because I love doing absolutely nothing. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles. Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. I, you will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which, is, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay, finally. Pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Yeah. Great. Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never b been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Yeah. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps, at, keeps it up next year, he'll even make something edible. Yep. And it's all the snow dogs. Knowing the do that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. On the floor inside is a box of Palmer raisins. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. <laughs> dog just rushed in here, filled, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that, express, that expressed its own emotions. 
But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. It, its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until it was rather sad to watch. But I couldn't turn away. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. What's up? Gift rock. Remove a small, confused dog. Remove the striped cane that says, I used this tiny cane to walk on it. A weight has been lifted. If rot the problems have been taken away. Are you lost? No. It's a door. I just like that there's two sands there, just like, just beyond uh, the camera, so it looks like he moves. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. It's a root. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's a. There's 30G inside. This. What is this? It's a snow puff. You love yourself. I love you. Your HP was maxed out. It's a tiny doghouse. Oh, it's a snow puff. It's greater dog. Oh, I love greater dog. You call the greater dog, it bounds towards you, flecking so slobber onto your face. <laughs> it gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited! <laughs> dog cat splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. The dog's very tired and rests in your head. Oh, first death. Can't believe I died to a uh, greater dog.
dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. God, if I could stop getting hit at these attacks that deal 5 damage each time. I'm going to get a sip of water real quick because I know Papyrus is coming up. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spark, spikes will swing, blades will slice, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up! What's hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe too easy to defeat with the human, the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Heh. Heh. I don't know what my brother is going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh boy, do I. Hey, it's Snowden! Woo! The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a chippy. Oh, a bicycle. Ha, that's funny. Okay, so we can carry two more things. Welcome to the Sno to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. 
Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow's tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Hee <laughs> hee. Bun 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 bun. Okay, I don't like that this is an anthropomorphic rabbit lady and she's walking a rabbit. That is a normal rabbit. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's just a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to local to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> it's funny. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Ah, nice. A, a nice full uh, grill bees. Grill bees said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch this stuff. This dog's part of the Royal Guard, an elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Oh my god. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. Make a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. I love these dog characters. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to get I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their butts. Jukebox is broken. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyways. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Let's play Monsters and Humans. Ah, to be, ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You aren't gonna make me be a human, be the human again, are you? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. My patience rewards me. Okay, so he just really likes the sound of knocking. Oh, yep, and then there's this guy. Ring, ring. Hello, can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number, the wrong number of song. We're very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number song, the wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Click. Oh, 
Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Wait, what? Library. <laughs> library. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me, gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Now look in your eye. You're someone who that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Word spreads fast. This mailbox is lab labeled papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. The mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. So I think I know what comes next. Um, and I'm just going to end the stream here uh, after I save. Because I don't want to do the papyrus fight because I'm kind of tired. But uh, thanks to everyone who came out to watch. Uh, this was a great stream. Uh, and it was very fun. You know, thanks to Tiff. Shout out to Tiff. Uh, yeah. Um, and I'll uh, talk to you guys next time I stream, which will be whenever that is. But uh, yeah, alright, peace.